These poems will all be about hope or flowers. Um, the first poem is about my first love. And this is called Andrea was a philosopher. And I grew up around Salford, so this is my area. I weren't supposed to play with Andrea. She climbed trees without wearing knickers. Sometimes <laughs> when her audience of boys had scattered, she would swing her long limbs either side of the branch, then squeeze the back between her thighs tight and shout, this tree is the only one who understands me. Then Andrea would weep, sob in a language that only trees could translate, and her tears fell to the ground, dark as autumn conquers, and was swallowed by the thirsty soil. Now, I didn't know then whether that tree was a sycamore or a beech, but I know now Andrea was a philosopher. <laughs> and I work with students who have not just can't cope with school. These are students that I feel that education has given up on. So these were my ducklings. So this poem is dedicated to Susie. I'm not going to say why, but it's dedicated to Susie. And it's called Ducklings. I, do, I, I might do it without them. Can you hear me without Mike? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've got I have a big mouth. It's a myth. It's a myth that duck eggs are blue. Their shells are mostly mottled green. The yolk is within shore hard and white like the inside of my mother hen handbag that carries wipes, plasters, antiseptic cream, screwed up tissues covering half-eaten sweets, broken soldiers, confiscated wires and worms, a strange scavenge to take home to an unfettered nest. Weekdays, I mother a flock of excluded children. I split up their, no, 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 I'm the cock fight. Chastise them with soft, toned clucks, smooth, ruffled feathers with kites. And they, like ducklings, cling, never let me leave their sight. Peck their names in blue-green ink across my freckled arms. And even though they are coloured by the twigs and birch of other nests, I still do their head counts in my sleep and fret. Monday mornings I dread the you left us attitudes. Wings flap and tear seat belts and chairs as they begrudge adventures I've had without them. And they stand on their tiptoes and hiss, demand miss, miss, miss. <laughs> Together we collect leaves and learn about moss, Macbeth and negative numbers. But all's forgiven when we drink hot chocolate, but sometimes their hugs goodbye contain swear words and leave bruises. <laughs> the ducklings are at their best on Fridays when we go swimming, as they splash and dive, allow me to sit on the side and rest. Secure in their natural habitat, they quack, watch me, watch me miss, as they do handstands, swim lengths, play chase, until they come up for air with wet hair in peaks and tufts, eyes shining, they offer me feathers. Mm -hmm.